single dad Johnny's biggest challenge is going to be getting more flavours into his food. Can he now focus and this time pull it off? We look quite frantic, but in control, is that right? I feel frantic and I feel in sort of control. Your three courses? I'm doing a start off as a puree of English pea soup with white truffle oil and parmesan crisps. For my main, I'm doing sauteed cod on cod cakes. Sauteed cod on cod cakes? Yeah, and a clam chowder. For my dessert, a lemon sabillon. Is a bowl of soup enough to make somebody a semi-finalist? Bowl of soup, fish and potatoes and a lemon mousse. Put like that, probably not, but it's in the flavour. I've listened to you, I take on what you're saying, and I'm going to show you that I can deliver on that. You're quite an emotional guy, Johnny. This must mean more to you than just proving a point to us. You know what? I'm not an emotional guy um, until I became on MasterChef. <laughs> And it's just changed everything, emotionally. So it has. I think Johnny has talked himself up too much here. Because he's been going on so much about how much flavour is now important, it's all about flavour. I'm cooking all of these because I want to deliver the flavour. <laughs> make you better, otherwise you're going to make yourself look pretty silly. Hey. Five minutes! seconds left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, down your tools, please. Academic Michelle's hoping the judges will be bowled over by her starter of curried butternut squash soup. It is slightly lacking on body. The sweetness of the coconut milk is there. Underlying flavour of that curry base. It's good. It doesn't light bonfires. It's sweet of butternut squash. It has an undercurrent of spice that isn't too heavy. It allows the butternut to still come through. Very nice. It needs to be thicker. For her main, Michelle's opted to stick to her roots with a chicken suka and sweet rice. Spicy hot as it should be with this amazing collision of caramel sweetness. This, somehow or another, is alive in your mouth with this amazing hotness from the spice and this sweetness that is at all the time is flowing all the way through. I love it. Mm, that's great. That's great. Uh, chicken is beautifully moist. The flavour of the chicken is coming through, the sweetness of that chutney, it all goes. The sweetness goes, the chilli remains and the coconut comes in. Yes, I think it's great. I really think it's great. Can Michelle continue the success of her main with a final course of chocolate mousse with amaretti biscuits and cream? Non-whipped cream on top. You ran out of time. Well... Should you go any further, you've got to get that timing right. Yes, I do. OK. Oh, my goodness, that is one serious piece of chocolate mousse and biscuit, isn't it? It is very dense, Michelle. It's very, very rich. It's very, very thick. Two mouthfuls, I think I have enough. Too sticky, too sweet, needs lots more cream. Has single dad Johnny managed to inject some much needed flavour into his food with a starter of pea soup with white truffle oil? Oh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Sweet pea, truffle, works very well together. You wanted velvety, you wanted packed full of flavour. This you have. On the nose, truffle. Therefore, it's heady and slightly sexy. Okay. The pea is sweet, the parmesan is soft and salty. It's great. It is a great, great pea soup. <laughs> Very clever. OK. Can Johnny equal the success of his soup with sautéed cod with cod cakes and a clam chowder? 
Whoa. You've done it again, big bloke. You have done it again. It is soft, it is rich, it is deep. Fish flavour keeps coming, keeps coming, keeps coming. All soft, all lovely. Cod I get. Salty clam I get. The texture of the potato cake I get with a little bit of crispness on the outside. That sweet sauce has become too sweet and thick for me. And it's almost like condensed milk. Sorry, Johnny. Sorry. Can Johnny win over both judges with his lemon sabayon with honeyed mascarpone cream? <laughs> mm. Sweet and citrus. Beautifully balanced. Beautifully balanced. I, uh, your food is taking on a tone that I really like of understatement, working very, very hard to smash as much flavours as it can. The biscuit, buttery biscuits, really tasty. The mousse itself on top, that Zebion, is slightly textured because of the gelatine. But I'm going to say, as an Australian, it's a bloody good dessert, mate. To start, Simon's made ambitious Thai crab patties with baked banana porridge. That's quite brown. What else is in there? I've added a little dash of dark shiitake extract. So, mushroom extract. Mm -hmm. OK. It is slightly salty from that shiitake extract. At the same time, you still get the sweetness of crab. It's very clever. It needs to be toned down on your seasoning just a touch, but it is fairly impressive for the fact that's come out of your head. 100%. It's nice, your banana porridge. The sweetness with the crab works perfectly. It's sweet, bursting with crab flavour, hint of chilli. There's far too much salt. Mm -hmm. Can he improve on his starter with loin of pork stuffed with sweet peppers, a roasted aubergine puree and a star anise and ginger sauce? The pork is cooked beautifully. And the first texture is the pork and the aubergine. You're still getting the taste of the aubergine. I I can see why you would do the banana and the crab. I don't know why you want to put all these flavours together. Mm. I feel as though the meat is not strong enough to cope with the rest of the flavours. Mm. Because the flavours are so extraordinary. Mm -hmm. You are thinking in such an extraordinary way that this is why I find you so very fascinating. You obviously have a natural instinct. That's impressive. For his last course, Simon's made a cherry and passion fruit ripple with raspberry sauce and sugared rose petals. As soon as that comes up to your mouth, before it goes into your mouth, you get the smell of that rose. It is seriously delicious. Seriously, seriously delicious. Excellent. Look, the sun's even shone on it, Simon. <laughs> it's like, hallelujah! Now, there are three and four flavours that shake hands and give each other a nice big warm kiss. It's like honey sweet in there, it's sharp, it's creamy, it's refreshing. That is well thought out, that is beautiful. It is lovely. Lovely. <laughs>